How's it going, guys? This is Excelite here, bringing you uh, week one of the CIL versus the something Blastoise. I, I quite frankly do not remember the, the first part of it, but we're going to Blastoise, aka Seabrain Games, um, who is a very good battler, as you will tell by this um, battle, I guess. So, uh, he's got the Megalatios, that's scary. He's got other things that are scary. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just go over my team right here. We got the Mega Opening with the Fake Out, Return, High Jump Kick, and Thunder Punch for the Mega Skarmory. Mega Skarmory. That's the thing. Can I make a Mega Skarmory, please? Please and thank you. No thanks. Uh, that would be way too bulky. Uh, Thunder Punch for the Skarmory. Zapdos, Specially Defensive, Toxic, Roost, HP Ice, and Thunderbolt. Now, I wanted Defog on it, but I put HP Ice on it instead because... I don't know. It was just in the heat of moment. Like, I... Don't know if he challenged me or I challenged him, but we were about to battle either way, and it said defog was not compatible with another move. But so I was trying to play around with like maybe I didn't need toxic, so I tried ch to change that move. Like I changed Thunderbolt from Discharge, but that still didn't work. So I, I ultimately gave up defog for HP Ice, which is what it is. Uh, not gonna spoil anything, but uh, yeah, Reggie Steel. Um, I think it was specially defensive. Maybe it was physically offensive though, I'm not sure. I had this battle like... I should have remembered, but I had this battle like three days ago, so... Oh well. Uh, with uh, Stealth Rocks, Seismic Toss, Thunder Wave... How can I not remember this? Okay. Um, moving on. <laughs> we have Lipard, Focus Sash, with the Taunt, uh, Iron Tail. I should have brought Gunk Shot instead of Iron Tail. I want Iron Tail for the Forges, but I should have brought Gunk Shot, obviously. Uh, and then it's got Night Slash and Encore. So that's cool. And then I believe that's a physically defensive Configurgus with Will O Wisp, Toxic Spikes, Hex, and Pain Split. And then a Life Orbed Heliolisk with Surf, Dark Pulse, Volt Switch, and Focus Blast. So there you go. It's a really good battle, a pretty long one. So let's play on. No Whoops, nope, stop that right now. Let's play it on normal speed because I want to kind of, you know, it's a pretty long battle. Anyway. I'm gonna little for the Eclipse, because I saw the Smeargle, I knew he was gonna try to lead off with that thing, it's gonna go for a status move, so I might as well taunt it, and then I predicted the switch into possibly Skarmory, but, you know, he goes into Cam Camellia, which is fine, I'm gonna go into Proton here, eat the Moonblast, just fine, uh, I had Toxic on it too, I think, yeah, I had Toxic, but I go for the ro Rocks here, just because... You know, I felt like it was my best play. Now I'm going to predict the defog. He does go for the defog, uh, but I got to keep this Eclipse's health intact because I don't want to take any damage because then the focus sash is going to be broken. So I encore into defog, which is great. Then I predict the switch into uh, this thing and go for the Iron Tail, which, you know, is a great thing. Then I predict the switch, go for Night Slash. That was the stupidest play I could have made because now he's going to knock me down to my focus sash. And that's not going to be a good friggin' time. So uh, here he he just he just plays he just plays me here. I'm just going to go for the Iron Tail because I feel like that was my best play. Yada yada yada. But he does bring in Skarmory. My best play obviously was to Night Slash again. But if I had just Iron Tailed in the first place, that would have been good. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get rid of his Sturdy. It doesn't really matter because I can't Oakum it with anything. And he's just going to switch out and get the Sturdy back. So uh, he's going to get up Rocks. Which is not good, because then my life part dies. So I'm going to try to force him to defog, because we've already seen the defog. I'm going to force him to possibly defog, because I, I want him to be scared of those toxic spikes. So, um, yeah. I'm not sure why I went for will o -Wisp there, because he could have switched into anything and got the toxic damage. Or the toxic on it, and then will o -Wisp, but I don't know. I go for another layer of toxic spikes, hoping he will defog um, them away. As, uh, here I go into Proton, which is great. I resist both the stabs. Even if I'm physically defensive, I have that, per that really good natural special defense bulk. So I will be able to eat the one of those. Uh, Defog, Clay Bondi, whatever. <laughs> He's going to land a hit anyway, so whatever. As I go with the rocks, he does get the Defog off. So he has two Pokemon with Defog. And probably this thing with Rapid Spin. So uh, yeah, I go for Toxic on the switch in. Uh, this thing's gonna have natural cure, so it's not really gonna matter. Uh, he's gonna have the scald, get the burn, which is not good. That did a lot of damage, so it's not too good. As um, I'm gonna die to another one, uh, so I'm gonna switch out. 
and go into radiation. I guess he predicts that and he gets the freeze, the ice team freeze, which is not very good at all. Um, yeah, that's that's scary, but he is going to switch out. Natural cure activates. And he goes into Camellia, as I'm going to thaw out straight up and get the roost off. I just clicked roost because I didn't expect to thaw out. Uh, when in hindsight, I should have toxic that turn. But it's fine, as he's going to wish. And uh, if I had a little bit of offensive investment, I would be able to uh, take him out there, which would have been so clutch, because he goes from the aromatherapy and this point, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is going to last so much longer. So I go for another Toxic to force his hand so that he will uh, go for the aromatherapy again. So I take this opportunity to switch into the Eclipse, my Lipard. I know he's not going to go for Moonblast, there's no real reason to. He's actually going to Wish, so that's fine. As uh, I'm going to Night Slash again, freaking predicting his switch, which makes no sense. I shouldn't have done that, I should have just Iron Tailed. Because this thing's not very useful anymore, to be honest. Like, sure, against the Smear Goal, but whatever. I'm going to Encore. Um, so he's locked in aromatherapy. Now I'm going to switch, predicting his switch, because he doesn't want to take an Iron Tail. I'm going to predict his uh, Skarmory, but he <laughs> he goes into Jolteon for some reason. I, I mean, I guess he, that was just, you know, middle ground, just in case I switch to. Uh, so I'm going to have the Surf, because that was my strongest move to go against the Jolteon, so, uh, whatever. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. That's a 2 hit KO, but, um... You know, he might switch out, he might do it, he does do it, goes into Sentinel, and that is a shame, he's going to get all this health back, which is not good at all. Um, so this thing's sitting in here, if he ever gets a switch into that thing, it's going to be scary. So I'm going to switch into uh, Radiation as he doubles out, which is a nice play there, as I'm going to go to Hades, and um, that's great. They might. Okay, never mind. So, anyway, sorry for that delay there. He's gonna get the sea webs and the rocks up, so my wire part's basically dead, unless he defogs for some reason. So, that's a thing. As, uh, yeah, I'm just sitting in here. Camellia is going to take burn damage. Just, it's pretty low, you know, with the rocks. It's it's gonna be definitely not surviving too long. It's, I'm gonna go for the hex, just because that was. In my opinion, the best play. As uh, now he's gonna Shadow Ball, take out my Hades. I'm fine with that. I didn't really have a switch in, just not gonna lie. As uh, here, I should have switched to Lopin. Like, there's no reason to go into Impulse here. There's absolutely no reason. I, there's actually no, there was a reason. Okay, I wanted him to go into Latios. I wanted to bait the Latios so I could Dark Pulse upon the switch. But he goes into Falcon. Falchion. I don't know why, because. Like, that was my reasoning, because that's why I didn't go into Megalopony. It's because I wanted to bait that Latio Latios, because if I went into Megalopony, he'd get a hit off or switch out, predicting my fake out, and then he'd get his free switch into Latios, um, and then he would be able to basically kill something. So, that was my thought process. Uh, this Pulsar is pretty low. I'm going to go into Dis Disciple here and uh, try to kill something, but he does go into Sentinel. And uh, I believe I just, yeah, I had to go for the fake out. There's, there's no chance I'm, I'm risking it, so. Gonna sack off Eclipse here. Uh, it's, you know, the rocks. Whatever, it's fine. If he had gone for Roost, that would have just been bad. So, I'm gonna go to Proton here. Don't get, don't get affected by the sticky webs, but uh, whatever. As he's going to switch into Dobby. As uh, I'm gonna get the Toxic off. Nice and clutch Toxic. And I'd said I should have gone for rocks there, but it's it's honestly it's it's fine it's fine. He's gonna have the spore upon the switch. I, I wanted to like I was trying to th I was long thinking long and hard between these turns about what I should do. So uh, yeah, I I was trying to see how I could actually win this, um, and I had to get at least rocks up. So I'm gonna switch into disciple, putting in the wish. If he had gone for midblast there, it just would have been you know. GG, like that's it, cause so, you know, whatever. But that doesn't happen, as uh, that's great. Uh, Disciple's going to come in. Take, he's gonna take a return, which is not good. Gonna get the wish, which is not good. As I'm going to switch into uh, Proton, I want to get the rocks up. Uh, he's going to go for. 
uh, Psychic, not do a lot. I'm not sure if he could have killed with a Draco. I feel like he could have, but maybe he couldn't have. So, I don't know. Uh, Camellia's gonna die upon the switch. Uh, or no, I'm gonna go for the rocks upon the switch. Uh, as Camellia go he sacks off that thing. So, that was what I wanted to do. So that, uh, unless that latch used to fogs, that, uh, la that Starmie is going to be dead. So, this Blitz, this Blitzkrieg is now dead because of rock, because of life orb, sorry. The co combination of rocks and life orb. So if I hadn't got rocks up there, then this, that jolt channel would have been a bigger problem. But yeah, so I go into Dis uh, Disciple. Uh, I have to try to do something here. I think I predicted the, uh, switch. If he had gone, if he had gone into Latios there, that would have been so clutch. Wait, no, I went for fake out. Never mind then. As, um, here it's... <laughs> Unfortunately, it's basically GG because, yeah, I, I don't have, um, at this point I just forgot about Smeargle, but I, his best play was just to Psyche there, not to Draco. If he had draco still, I don't think we would have had a chance, because then he could have followed up with a Psychic, and even a minus two Psychic would have killed my, um, Lopini, so, uh, yeah, gonna go fake out. If I had Quick Attack, I would actually win, because Smeargle would not live a Quick Attack, at its health, 27% plus uh, rocks, but I didn't have, um, I didn't have that move. I did not have Quick Attack, I had Thunder Punch. If I hadn't brought Thunder Punch instead of Quick Attack, because I didn't use Quick Attack, or sorry, I didn't use Thunder Punch, um, because of, you know, I never had Skarmory, I never had Lopini in against Skarmory, so I, I'm mixing up words, because I've been, I'm pretty tired right now, so... Yeah, uh, we do end up 0-1 at the end of week 1, which is fine, uh, but I believe week 2, I don't know if it's going to be next week or the week after, but um, I'm not sure. Either way, I'll keep you guys tuned in, hopefully, and uh, yeah, that was a good battle. How many turns was that? I didn't even see. Was that was 54 freaking turns? That was, a, whoops, that was a lot, and it wasn't that much of a bulky game either, it was just... You know, it was it was a different game. I liked it. So, you know, again, we lost, but it's honestly fine because um, we'll come back next week and hopefully we can pick up a win. So, I believe this is going to be uploaded on Saturday of this week, uh, which is like April April 23rd, I believe. Um, and then FBL will be on Sunday. So, uh, yeah. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button because that would be appreciated. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.